time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to blank. Hey! What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live, March 28th. The last power hour of the week, last power hour of the month. Uh, so far, so good today. Got my one DTE on. It is it's only up nineteen percent, so not great decay on that one. Um, well, let me just bring bring down my trade steward a little easier. So let's start with the old challenge portfolio. So let's see, up around a little over eight thousand. Actually, actually, no, that's not right. It's closer to ten, about ninety nine hundred. Because I had to, I had to disable one of my bots because when I reduced the size, it was Toss was having fits with it. So anyway, up about ninety nine hundred on my challenge portfolio. Had a three two that I reduced. I'm managing. It, it shows trade close, but I'm actually manual. Uh, managing it on toss so it's still open my one-to-one -one closed half at 30 percent reduced stop that one's up about 60 ish percent there's my one dte and then there's my other three two that fired and then <clears throat> in my other account up as well up about 5500 I uh, hit 50% on my Thursday AM ratio. Uh, my NDX is doing good. I've got five quiet tranches. Usually don't trade these on Thursdays, but I just, I treated today like a Friday. Um, so those have not hit profit targets yet, but they're all green at the moment. Got uh my NDX well centered. I did put on a Wooga. I got uh, conflicts in my toss account, so I put it onto my Trader account, but I did get on a Wooga filled at. What did I get filled at? 525. My shorts are the 52.50 and 52.55. Yep. Got in the Wooga, same as Wooga. Uh, it's interesting. This These options are still pricing in a, a move here at the end of the day. We've obviously had a couple big moves the last two days at the end of the day in the last hour. But if you look at like the uh, 55 butterfly, for example... It's not even trading for a dollar. It's like 85 cents, which for this kind of movement, these things would typically be trading for a dollar by noon central time. Yeah, I, I don't have the, I don't have Thursday on my uh, trade plan either, Meech. I just, because it's the last day of the week. I figured we'd have pretty modest Price movement, and uh, we have so far just hit one quiet tranche, forty percent. One's a couple others are at thirty-five. So if we kind of hold up here, these should be popping. Yeah, I just I decided when I woke up this morning that today's Friday. So in my mind, that's what I that's what I decided. I don't care what Mother Nature says. I'm saying it's Friday.
We are currently back up towards highs of day. We hit a high of day at 52.56. All-time high is 52.61. I think we're going to create a new all-time high today. Dick K, you going to bet? <laughs> you want to wager going into the weekend? You want to wager going into Easter? Oh, uh, Dick K is not even on here. Darn it. All right, I guess he gets lucky again. Somebody tag Dick K and tell him I want to bet him. I want to bet him that we get all-time highs today. Oh, new high of day. Three points away. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. All right, we need to calm down for a second. Let, let, let some profit targets hit first. I don't think it's going to wait on me. I think he just wants to go. It's that last hour of the day. Thing has been vicious the last couple of days. So we've got a couple of uh, time flies on. Fifty two, fifty eight, three points away. Look at this thing. I got stopped out of a quiet tranche on that move. One of them. And we already hit new all time highs. So Dick K lost. That's why the options had it priced that way. They knew it. Oh, no, I didn't get stopped out of a quiet trench. I got stopped out of my uh, challenge re-entry trade for a profit. Man, it's just really loved to make those little spiky moves during power hour, hasn't it, this week? Let's see what else we got here. Oil's up 2%. Gold, new all-time highs, 2246. Wheat and corn, big jumps. 
Bitcoin up 3%, not quite back up to all-time highs, over 71,000. was long some uh, or I am long some MES micro futures just just tiny for for micros just got out of one on that push felt like we're gonna go to all-time highs so just playing playing bullish on that If you are around tomorrow, we'll be doing the futures day trading class. It's posted in the day trading chat channel. Tomorrow afternoon, 1.30 central, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, opt for dollar, I would say, if I had to guess, my crystal ball is working, I would say that we're going to close all-time highs. Look at that Bix getting crushed back down to 12.88. Well, now I need a down move for my quiet tranches. Those were all looking so beautiful. I had one at 40%. Two of them are still green, but two of them went red. Well, now you're really asking me to go dig, dig deep into my crystal ball. Hanging around 62s. Rut's been the strongest all day, but it it's it came off quite a bit from where it was. I haven't really even looked at stocks today. Restoration hardware up 18% after earnings, it looks like. Yeah. Coinbase up three and a half, Ulta up two. Spotify up two. NVIDIA barely green, Amazon barely green. AMC down 15%, Reddit down 11%, DJT down 6%, Meta down 1, One DTE is still green. I'm 
my remaining one-to-one -one ratio. It's still green as well. Here's a combination of all my quiet tranches. So they're still fairly centered. Uh, yeah, Meech, I'm going to hold that. Until next week. What's the expiration on that one? Is that the 12th or is that? Let's see. Yeah, the 12th. Yeah, so I'm going to hold that till next week. Don't have any calendar calendars on. Don't have any ducks on. Yeah, I got some questions about doing calendars today because the market's closed tomorrow and I'm not doing any. I just got, you know, still the holiday week, low volume. We do have some um, event risk tomorrow. PCE is, uh, is announced pre-market. Well, market's closed, but an hour before the market would open. And then Powell speaks at 1030 a.m. tomorrow. And another Fed speaker daily. So I just I didn't feel like it was worth the risk. Yeah, it sure is, Ken. They are they're still pricing in a move here. Rest of the day. Fifty five butterfly trading for seventy five cents. We'll snap back to 57. See if see if she's gonna make another run. Still got some long futures. Wooga still in range. Looks like uh, well, it's down a little bit.
SPX trying to pop back up. So let's see, I got to put in my profit target on Wooga. <clears throat> Really closer to 5250-ish is my sweet spot. If it can settle back into that consolidation area. I'm officially out of my third drawdown of the year in one of my accounts as of today, unless something crazy happens. <laughs> First two weeks of every month, it's been rough. And I have to claw back and get back to even by the end of the month. Done it every single month this year. <laughs> Challenge portfolio is kicking ass. Started this month in that account with 141. It's at 204 right now. Uh, I still have to, so I, I close half and I reduce the stop when it hits 30%. That's the only manual interaction I have to have with it. So I'm hoping that trade steward <clears throat> gets that functionality that can reduce stops, kind of ratchet, ratchet down stops so I can get that fully automated. But so that's the only, only, only manual intervention I do. Tweak my test to take off. Um, I'm not sure what you mean, Meech. Tweak my test to take off the close half. Right now, when it gets to 30%, I close half and I ratchet my stop down, depending on if it's a one to one or a three two couple different levels. Yeah, I, I tried different things. I mean, well, I mean, I could, uh, well, yeah, trailing stop didn't perform ne nearly as well. Uh, it actually, it actually, my, <clears throat> my re-entry strategy actually performed a lot better if you, if you just don't take any off. <clears throat> but I, I traded it 
you know, when I was kind of testing it to <clears throat> figure out exactly what I wanted to do starting March 1st, I just decided I psychologically, I just feel way better when I take some chips off the table. And so that's what I, that's what I decided to, to do. Um, I just, I, I could feel myself not sticking to the plan if I didn't do that. And so that's, that's what I decided to do. So I just used the old Meech strategy of alerts. So I, you know, once I get in the trade, I set an alert and toss kind of the way that you, you mentioned you do Meech. And then when it gets close to that 30%, I'll get a text, get a ding. And I'll go in and just one time reduce position size, reduce stop, and then it'll be on autopilot from that point on. <laughs> the Meech alert. Krish, played to the PL, closed all positions, booked 4,500 for the day. Good close to the month quarter. Could have gotten a bit more, but didn't want to give it back. Have meetings to go to. 12% for the month. Nice. 27 for the quarter. Started zero DTE. May of 2023. As of now, doubled the corpus I brought in. It's awesome, Krish. Congrats, man. Good stuff. All right, Decay, you lost. <laughs> Bet accepted and lost. I said we were going to new all time highs when we were before we broke out. <laughs> I said we were going to all time highs. Somebody tagged Dick K. Tell him I want to bet. And of course, again, I won, but you didn't accept in time. I'm like four and zero these last four bets against you. He was just acting like he didn't hear me. <laughs> He knows I've got his number. Uh, yeah, Talon, it's on the back test. So I have a, a 3 2 re entry that I ratchet the stop down to three, three dollars on that one. And then the one to one, I ratchet down to two at 30%. Creeping back up towards highs. Yeah, so, and then <clears throat> telling that uh, that stop is 2 or $3 above whatever the current price is that when I hit that 30%. Yeah, that one DTE, aka four DTE trade. That one, that one needs a little bit of move down too. To get back to center, mine's up about eleven percent right now. Sixty flies trading for eighty cents. Maybe ninety cents.
Uh, it's not trailing. Yeah, so I take, so based on the credit that I got, so let's say I got a $19 credit. I would take 70, you know, 19 times 0. 0.7. And then, that, so there's your 30%. And then I would add two bucks to that. And that's my new stop. Fixed, no trail. I'm just pricing out the the five dollar butterfly. Usually, when we see just real stagnant movement like this, they'll start trading for a dollar by about noon central. Uh, but they're just they're keeping some premium in in these options. Yeah, you can still get five wide on four dollar strikes. So, by the way, if you're new here. I, I'm not doing any kind of normal power hour. Today's kind of a neutral day. Um, but if you're new here, I'll bring over the Discord. So make sure you go to Zero DTE Resources. Scroll up a little bit. The first post, there's a Zero DTE checklist for new members. So start there. There's a there's the strategy courses. For, all, for the different zero DTE strategies that you can check out. There's the trade plans channel where I post my trade plan every month. So this was the one for March. Uh, tomorrow, I'll be posting the, the way I'll trade all strategies for April. And there's a spreadsheet has all the strategies, option omega back test links, all that stuff, as well as there's other, uh, some of our more experienced members who we have posted their trade plans in here as well. Uh, there's Dr. Chad's. He has a channel here as well, uh, where you can kind of follow along with the uh, the style of zero DTE zero DTE that he trades. And there's a bunch of other ton of good stuff in there. So that is the first place you want to start. And during these live streams, especially on a week like this, where there's a lot of, it was really slow, there's plenty of time to ask questions. So as you go through the courses, kind of start to learn the strategies, we are here to answer questions, help fill in any gaps that you have. On a day like today, just managing my uh, positions that I had put on from earlier. Not wanting to uh, get into anything else. This little interesting vol in implied volatility going into the holiday weekend is interesting. We're still showing an 11-point expect expected move the rest of the day. I did not find a source for the early indication on MOC. Now, I haven't looked, but I haven't found one. It hasn't come to me anyway. Yeah, Core PCE tomorrow, Jerome Powell speaking tomorrow. Uh, you know what? I I remember looking at that. It's the trade flash widget. Uh, 
Uh, if I remember right, it was pretty delayed. I could be wrong, but it might have been something else I was looking at. But it's this Trader Flash widget. Um, and I don't remember if they did the early indications or just the final one. I'll watch it. Here in about five minutes would be the first indication, early indication. So we'll see if it posts. Well, it's not that the early indications aren't out there. It's just that the data source that Financial Juice was getting it from stopped providing it. Is what they is what they told me. New all time high fifty two sixty two. Yeah, it looks like there is a market on open imbalance as well. I've never really paid attention to that, though. And I just got... What did I get stopped out of? I stopped out of my remaining one-to-one -one ratio in my challenge portfolio for a profit. And I still have all my quiet tranches, but they're definitely going to need a down move. Yeah, I've never really paid attention to that market uh, market open imbalance. I don't really know the details about If there are certain things that firms do at the open, I've never really heard anything about that. I mean, the market on <clears throat> the market on close and balance is a thing because the firms are required to report what their net inflows and outflows are, and it's executed as a market on close order. So I'm not I'm not even sure what the market on open and balance is all about. All right. Come on back down, little buddy. You got your all-time high. Chad's at the Royals game. All right, so that uh, first indication should be coming out. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if Toss reports it here. Two thirty is right now. Mm 
Nothing after 15 seconds. Nothing after 30 seconds. <clears throat> Meanwhile, SPX up to 52, 65 almost. Yeah, no no early indication for MOC. Yeah, I need to get I need to get back down below sixty for my quiet tranches. And my one DTE. My Wooga is down about 22%. Is the comeback into range? Party's just getting started, Chris. I don't know what you're talking about. The Chad. Welcome, the Chad. Um, the Wooga is. Well, Wuga is one of our members, and he uh, he kind of came up with this strategy. So we just call it the Wuga. It is uh, here's the uh, here's the back test link to it. It's just a 40 delta, 10 wide, no stop. You're only going 10 wide, so that's your max risk if the market gets crazy. Performed very well over the years. All right, S and P. Let's just calm yourself down. Come back in. Give us a nice, nice little Easter egg gift as we go into the long weekend. A little spiky spike in VIX. I mean, it's only ten cents, but looks big on my chart.
There we go. Profit target hit on a quiet tranche. 40%. Still have three open. When DTE is up about five something, it's up about 14%. <clears throat> Sixty butterfly, just still not trading for a dollar. The options are still pricing in a little bit of movement here. Who's the better Chad though? Doctor or the? That's the question. Yeah, it should be fun, Anil. I'm glad that I worked out for tomorrow. The market being closed and all. The Chad, if you if you got your PhD or your doctorate, then you could call yourself the Dr. Chad, and that would trump everything. All right, nice little pullback. Getting ready to hit 40%. Another quiet tranche. It's at 39. Needs to come back down just another tick, another point. My remaining three are at the 4560s, 4560s, and 4055s.
Has anybody seen the movie The Card Counter? I was looking for a movie the other night and it popped up. And I was like, oh, Martin Scorsese? This I've never even heard of this movie. It's from 2021. I was like, this should be good. It was okay. The acting was terrible. I was a little shocked. It was a Martin Scorsese movie, but anybody else seen that one? No, guess not. Wouldn't say I'd recommend it. No, I didn't quite get my 40%. Bounce back up. Oh, yeah, Rain Man, that's great. That's a great movie. Great flick. There's my 40%. All right, so two quiet tranches to go. One's at the 40.55, one's at the 45.60. My um my forty five sixty is at thirty three percent, so it's getting close. If we keep coming down a little bit. My one DTE likes this little down move. It's back up to eighteen percent. Wooga is trying to get back in range. Bix back above 13. Close to highs of day. That's interesting. This SPX is just off of its highs of day. Pump some premium in so nobody gets that free theta decay over the weekend. And there's another 40% hit. So now I've got my one DTE left. I do have my, I still have my NDX, which is looking good so far. And then I've got one quiet trunch. Needs to get below 55. Fifteen minutes to go. So yeah, it doesn't look like any early indications are posted on the uh, toss widget.
SPX back down to 52, 58. MOC number will be reported here in three minutes. Naughty dog. Yeah, it's the, the the last one you see on there was that was yesterday's. If that's what you mean. What are you paper trading with SPY, Talon? Like a power hour type trade? So do you plan on trading SPY when you go live with real money? Reason I ask is because I would, okay. I was just going to say, if you plan to go to SPX, you might want to paper trade with SPX as well. But if you're if you're going to go live with SPY first, then it makes sense. Yeah, madam, look at these butterflies. They're only trading for a dollar still. That's crazy. Craziness. 12 minutes to go? Does the do the options know we're going to have a big MOC number? What's going on here? Still showing an $8 expected move. All right, MOC number in 30 seconds. Got to remember to close my Wooga out. Here in a couple of minutes. Three eighty five million buy side. Nothing. Nothing burger. I made $82.50 on my micro S&P future trade today. My 1DTE just closed. Oh, hit 26%. It's not bad. Wait, no, that's not what closed. What did I just close? Oh, that's my uh forty percent on my other on my last quiet tranche. Nice. Very nice. So all quiet tranches ended up hitting forty percent somehow. <laughs> thought I was thought I was dead on a couple of them after that push higher.
All right, so my one DTE will close out here in a couple minutes. It's currently at 21%. And then my Wuga is just underwater, down forty dollars. We come down, might be able to scratch out a profit. It's time to close it though now. Yeah, NDX looking good. Should expire for max profit. My profit target's at uh, 20 cents. I don't know. Yeah, 20 cents. I don't think that's going to fill. <clears throat> well, maybe it will. One DTE is at 24%. So my bot will close that one out here in about two minutes. Need to close my Wuga. I got distracted. I was supposed to close Wuga two minutes ago. Filled at 410. So scratched out a little profit on Wuga. In at 525 out at 410. Take it. No losers today. My one account up 9,400. My challenge portfolio up 6,100. Twenty three hundred on my AM ratio 1100 on a quiet tranche 500 quiet tranche 660 quiet tranche 590 560 ndx will expire for max profit challenge portfolio Well, that's not actually displayed right because I had to uh, manually close that one. So I'm up, yeah, about 6,100 total. Good day, good week, good month. I like, uh, I like closing out a month like this. So my one DTE is closing right now. Filled at 975 on the one DTE. Uh, yeah, Talon, you can do that. I actually can't remember how. If I remember right, Dick K does that sometimes. I don't, I've never done it. But I know you can do it. Mm -hmm. 
but I don't have any more open positions, so I can't uh, can't try. Well, I guess I could try on something like this. Let's see. Remind me, Dick K. How do I do that? Yeah, here we go. So just, yeah, get your closing order. Click on the little uh, settings wheel over here to the far right on your colored order bar. And then you'll see it right here. Submit at specific time. All right, my friends, jump off here. Everybody have a good long weekend. Have a good Easter. For those of you attending, don't forget, uh, I posted in the day trading chat channel. Tomorrow, 1.30 p.m. Central, we'll do the day trading futures class. For those that can attend, it'll be recorded for those who can't be there. Look forward to that. All right, all. Take care. Talk to you soon.